everyone, I'm Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation, and what we're going to talk about real quick in this video is understanding the power position. If you looked at our basic video on heel toe position, we talk about where the heel toe position is because that's what helps set up this dynamic power position. So one of the things that we're looking at is the power position. What, what is the key? So in the discus, you're going to notice that we have a high point. We have the right orbit, right, so that we can come around and stay on top of our delivery leg and come around and out. And you notice how I'm bringing that right side through. So the power position is really key, and there's a couple of simple tips to help you develop a better power position. And so what we want to focus on is we always, what we talk about in our system is we, we always have to set the angle and we have to understand. We see a lot of kids, they make the mistake of bending at the waist. If you bend at the waist, what you do as you wind, you're going to notice I'm doing this and I'm pulling myself onto my left. So as I begin my throw, I'm always shifted too late. I'm coming off and I'm going to have a late block. What that tends to do, that tends to contribute to sector fouls. Now there's a number of different reasons why the power position can wind up like that, but if you looked at our video on orbit, one of the things we talk about is where that shoulder position is. So another common mistake of setting up a poor power position is when we talk about here, if we're bent at the waist and we wind back, one of the other things is winding too far and setting the wrong orbit. So when you see the shoulders get in this position, we're doing the same thing again. It's a different way of winding up onto the left side too soon. And if you can't keep this knee in front of this toe, you don't want to rotate around so that you can get out. So <clears throat> one of the key things, the key things to a good power position is setting up. So we create that angle, get that knee in front of the toe, and we set a proper orbit with a high point and a low point so that we can move around and nicely move nice and long and out into the throw. Breaking at the waist, setting or setting the wrong orbit around like this, those are the two big common mistakes that we really see with our young developing throwers because this position is a more dynamic position. It requires understanding balance. And if you've ever looked at our video on how the left foot affects this position, well, here's our counterpoints. If we open this foot, that's going to make a big difference. So those are your key things that will help you de develop a better power position. Really watch the breaking at the waist and the orbit position of the shoulders. That'll make a massive difference for most young throwers. And you'll see, again, we see a lot of throwers making these mistakes. And until that's fixed, we don't have the right pattern. Because when that shoulder position's here, this is the orbit. And you can see this, this is too far back. And then we're pulling away. And what we need to see is everything staying long. So it's coming this way up into the throw. So the right side comes through the block. And that's what makes a dynamic power position. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe. Be sure to visit airtaythrowsnation.com for more information and free videos. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.